good afternoon this is Walton Carrero and I'm going to show you a little more technical specs out of the uh, connector for the wireless ignition node okay I'm using my power Pro 4 okay and I'm going to show you the voltage reference I have 12.6 okay uh, I always suggest 12.3 volts or higher so right here you have the uh, light blue with red stripe you're gonna probe this wire and you're gonna get constant 12 volts you notice that the reading is 12.59 so we have constant 12 volts coming to this wire and then we have the ground wire okay basically it's giving me ground so that means that you're getting power to the uh, wind module now uh, I made it very simple for most customers if you grab the remote and you hit lock and you hear the horn and you hear the uh, door locks uh, locking and unlocking you know or you hear the relays clicking that means that there's power coming to the wind module and you don't have to come over here and probe these wires uh, to confirm that basically I mean if you're a, a tech or a mechanic and you must test this go right ahead but basically if the remote does lock and unlock the doors then we know you're getting power to the wind module so if you try to start it and it doesn't start especially if it doesn't light up the uh, the dash then you know you have a problem with the wind module okay so really simple make sure your battery is always more than 12.3 volts and uh, if your remote is working then your instrument cluster doesn't light up it's your wind module okay that's mainly for the first generation for the second generation which is um, again we have a video that shows you the difference you get you have to wiggle the, the fabric remote in order to get the dash to come on or in order to get the vehicle to crank sometimes but usually you can have instrument cluster coming on while you wiggle the uh, the key and you're gonna get cranking uh, for a for a very split second that's generation 2 also generation 2 you hit a bump the vehicle turns off okay so when we replace the wind modules with brand new ones we're replacing them with third generation wind modules which is the latest and best designed um, wind module again we have videos showing uh, the difference and um, you know I don't want to make this video too long but I wanted to show you which are the two wires that you need to test with a multimeter or a test light uh, I don't suggest test light unless it's something like a power probe 3 or or 4 or something that's computer safe um, and the reason for this video is if your remote stopped working months ago or years ago or it's not working at all okay and you come here and you test and you have power on the blue with red stripe and you get ground on the uh, black wire that means that your remote is not working and you have a problem also with the wind module or it might just be the remote that you need a new one but before going and spending money on on additional fabric remotes okay uh, send me a text and uh, give me the symptoms and we'll go ahead and help you with uh, you know the best approach to the solution okay sometimes uh, throwing the car to the dealership it's just gonna incur more, more charges and we can actually give you a, a, a less expensive solution uh, and they all come with a year warranty thanks for watching